Learn how to do shading in Infinite Painter step by step. This is actually part 2 of the video. In this part, we're gonna learn how to shade our sketch. Let's have a look at a requirement. Download free, color palette, and sketch if you need. These are the brushes that have been used in this illustration. One of the brushes is created. You can create your own brush. I have provided the link in description below. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, select your background color and then select fill tool and then fill in the background color. This is kind of dark color and then add one more layer. Then select a color which you have to add first. So um, first add in the color to the bottom part of frog. Yeah, like that. And the overall design of the frog. Or you could say the design of the skirt. I don't know what that is if you know its name. So you can tell me in the comment section. I know that I'm not doing it perfectly because if I start to do it perfectly, it takes a lot of time and it's not worth seeing. You guys would be like, what okay fine add one more layer and then select white color using white color color the ornament part of bodice like this not this way the way you find it easy always enable the lazy tool when you draw shapes like this and you can also use path tool add in more feathers to skirt because this will create a more interesting thing Now select a skin tone color and add in color to face. How nicely I colored the face. Create a layer above a skirt layer. Now go to skirt layer and select the skirt layer. Now invert the selection. Now go to third layer and color the neck and arms using the same skin tone color. And then deselect the layer and color the remaining parts of hands. The same goes for the other side. Now create a layer and arrange it above the background layer. Now select the darker color. Color hairs. In the whole process, I'm using solid fill. You can use any other brush you find it easy to color with. Now I am using concept pencil to draw more isolated defined strands of hair. Now select color for swan and then color the swan. And then select the skin tone color and using this color color the beak of swan. Now go to background layer and create a layer above that. Select the same swan color. Now color the wings of swan. Now go to last fourth layer. And select darker color. And color the lower of swan. Now select white color and add in color to the crown of swan. And coloring is done! Thank you. Now add a layer of a face layer. Now we are going to shade our illustration. I am going to shade the face first. For this, I have selected pinkish color. Select Banksy brush from legacy folder. And then add in blush to cheek. Add more dark blush to middle and upper area of cheek. And also to the ear. Don't worry if the color spreads out. You can erase the extra color. Select darker skin tone color. Decrease the opacity of solid fill. And using path tool, highlight the upper eyelid area. This makes the eye more noticeable and also to inner part of air. Now increase the opacity of solid fill and add more shades. And using the same color, I am adding this color to lower lip. Now darken the color and add color to upper lip. As we all know that upper lip is darker than lower lip, so we are doing the same thing here. Select white color. 
Select concept pencil. So this is kind of eyeliner which is used to decorate her eye. And also make the eye more noticeable by adding dark color to it. Now fill the color. And also add in color to eyebrow. Select soft taper from calligraphy folder. I am using soft taper here to draw isolated strand of hair. No brush helps hair more than soft taper brush. Now go to hand layer and add a layer above it and apply clipping mask to it. Select darker skin tone color. Add in shadow to neck using solid fill. Now using Banksy brush add in darker skin tone shades. Erase the extra color. And also add shade along the edge. Now using small size add dark shades to armpits and erase the extra color. Now using large size add dark shades along the edge. Now select more saturated color and add this saturated color to hands and also to edge. Now go to hair layer and add a layer and apply clipping mask to it. Select background color. Select a spray paint to brush. Add in this spray texture to lower body of swan. Now select Banksy brush. Now using large size of Banksy, add in this background color to lower edge until it seems erased. Now select color. Now add in shadows to swan. Now select color and add in shades to hair. Now go to second last layer and add a layer above that and apply a clipping mask to it. Now select color. First add a spray texture and then using Banksy brush add shades. Now darken the color and then again add sheets using Banksy brush. Now let's add interesting design to wings of swan. Now add in black design. This will create a mixture of black swan and white swan. Now select white color, select concept pencil and add white color to edges of wings. Now go to hair clipping mask layer and add black design to swan as well. Then add white line along the edges of swan. Now go to frock layer and add a layer above it, apply a clipping mask to it. Add same swan design to feathers of ballet tuto or ballet skirt. Now add in black wavy design to feathers. Mm -hmm. 
then add in white color to edges. Add in the same way we designed to this ornament of hair. Now select white color and add in white design. Now add in bright color to bodice of belly. Now select darker color and add in black design to bodice of belly. Using concept pencil add shadows of feathers. Now go to face shading layer. Select background color and using the decrease opacity of solid fill add the same pattern of design into white feathers. Now add white lines using concept pencil to decorate the frog. Add tiny dots using concept pencil and the size of these dots goes smaller as they descend down. Now go to last layer and then add a layer above that. Now select color and decrease the opacity of spray paint to brush. Now add a spray texture in descending way from top to down. And also leave some space. Now select eraser and erase the extra color. Now select background color and then use this background color first to lower part of texture so that it seems erased and then decrease the size of brush and use this color to in the middle to create beautiful pattern and finally it's done